everybody, it's me. I'm here to teach you guys some really fun forest creature cartoons. Um, for this activity, you don't need much. All you need is a notebook or some blank paper and a pencil, okay? I'm just gonna teach you how to do some really fun cartoons and it's up to you to color them, draw them into a landscape, turn them into something amazing other than just a boring cartoon floating around on a white piece of paper. I'm sure that you guys can come up with all sorts of things. So let's get started. Okay, so for something a little different, we're gonna use our hedgehog as a model, okay? So I'm just gonna sit mine like this. It's, it's a little harder for you guys to see, but I'm gonna draw face on so that you sort of see this, okay? So what I'm going to start with, I'm gonna draw a little line for the ground. And then, depending on how big and how round you want your hedgehog, you're just gonna draw it's kind of a circle, okay? Then inside those circles, okay, you're gonna draw two more eggs, all right? And we're gonna turn those eggs into our little hedgehog's feet. So we're gonna give him some toes and some little foot pads, okay? So three little circles and a big circle. Now you'll notice these lines in here. We don't want those lines. I don't know if this is a very good eraser. You guys will have a good eraser on your pencil, so you can go ahead and erase those little lines around there. So you just see his feet, no straight lines through his feet. Then we're gonna go and draw a circle, a big egg in the middle. Okay. With a tiny little nose, and then we're just gonna put a little bottom lip in there. And then you can give your hedgehog some eyes. And if you want to do different styled eyes, by all means, go do different styled eyes. If you want to add things in like little hedgehog whiskers, by all means, go ahead and add some little hedgehog whiskers. Now the next thing we'll do, we're going to draw two more lumps, just like that. And then we'll put a little hill inside of each lump. Okay. Now, this right now, looks like it could be a few different animals, but we need to make it look like a hedgehog. So in order to make it look like a hedgehog, we're going to add in some details that make him look a little bit more spiky, okay? So to make him look a little more spiky, we're going to go ahead and we're gonna add in some spikes, but in order to make him look very spiky, we need to draw a few layers of spikes. You can see those layers of spikes in your little uh, creature. They don't stick straight up because he'd be pretty pokey. So this is the first layer. Now watch, I'm gonna just do a second layer. You can also give him some cute little details as well. See how close he's got that little circle? We can make some spikes on the inside of his. Little one. And then we can give him some little arms. Let's give him some little paws. And if you want, give him a little belly button. Okay, and there you've got a super cute hedgehog based on your piggy bank. So that's something that you could do whenever you wanted because you've always got a little piggy bank model to work with. You could always turn them around, try to draw them from the side, okay, or from the back. The back's not as interesting, but if we were to draw him from the side, okay, this time, I'm gonna give him a little tuft for a tail. I'm gonna come up and around and draw one ear and a second ear sticking out in the back. Okay, then I'm gonna come down about halfway, give him a little arm, and then come back all the way down here. Then I'm gonna draw in his little feet. And you won't see all the toes, but you'll see the side of his toes. Okay, and we need to give him his little face. So for his face, 
we need more of a pointy face. And we'll put a little nose here, and you can put your eyes here, maybe some whiskers if you want some whiskers. And if you want to do some spikes, you could make him really spiky if you wanted to, or if you wanted to make him look a little bit more like our not so spiky hedgehog. Piggy bank, it's a good way to do it. Okay, so we've got hedgehog. What's another good forest animal? What's a, what's a fun forest animal? Let's do a snail. I like snails. So they're also a garden animal, but they're kind of fun. You can find them all over. I'm gonna start with a line. It kind of looks like a happy face. I'm gonna start on the higher end of that happy face line and I'm gonna go around. I'm gonna come back to where that line is, but I'm gonna just keep going in. Okay. Then I'm gonna come off the back and give a wiggly tail. And kind of make it wiggly on purpose because this lake is the edge of his slimy little bottom there. Okay. Now up here, I'm gonna just connect the top of the shell to his neck and then I'm gonna give him two eyeballs. Just like that. And I'm gonna come back down like this. Now the one thing he's missing is his sort of little face. They've got funny little mouths. Just like that, and you can give his other side another little wiggly belly. And if you want, you can give the shell some details. Just like that. You could give him some spots. Sometimes snails are spotted. But I would only do it on there, I wouldn't do it on his belly. Okay? It would be really fun if we learned how to draw a rabbit. So a rabbit's a pretty good forest animal, right? A bunny? Maybe we should do a bunny? So for this one, what we're going to do, we're going to start with the nose because bunnies have a Y nose with legs. Okay? Then from there, we're gonna draw the whole animal. So watch this, I'm gonna come up. Those is a little cheek, so I'm gonna draw some whiskers. And then I'm gonna draw some eyes, just like that. But I'm not gonna connect them to anything yet. And above that, there's a bunny top. There's some ears, so it looks more like a bunny with the little top of his head. And then I can come around just like that. And maybe let's try and make him look a little bit less. Oh, that made it worse. That's okay. Okay. And we can give him a little chin. Okay. And he always, rabbits have these big puffy chests full of fluffy hair. If you're allergic to them, you know all too well. And then he has little arms come out on either sides. He's got these big feet. Okay, this bunny's sitting on his on his back legs. Okay. They have little eyebrows too. Can make his nose look a little thinner. And of course, if you want to draw his eyes a different way, you can absolutely draw his eyes a different way. This is just about you experimenting and playing around with some of the shapes and forms to make a bunny, but adding your own little details, you know? Um, another fun idea, let's, let's do a little owl. I know you guys like to do owls with me. This owl, let's make him a plump. So I'm gonna start with a little tree branch because it's fun to start with a little tree branch. Now, when I say he's plump, I mean he's 
lump. Okay, so those are his two little ears. We're gonna connect them just like that. Okay, and then we can come in with the other little branch. Now see, this is his belly area. I'm gonna make, I'm just gonna jump across like that. Add a couple little feet, okay? And then we're gonna come in almost with a heart, okay? Now this area outside of here is his little feathery wings. Inside we're gonna make a face. So I'm gonna just start with a cute, tiny little beak. Now owls have these big eyes. So let's put some big eyes on our owl, just like that. I'm gonna put a double layer of eyeball circles, and then I'm gonna go around them. bumps for like flower petals just for fun because they're cartoons you can do whatever you want right and we'll just do some shines in our owl's eyes and then if you want you can do a couple little belly lines like that okay what a cute little owl if you wanted to do more detail you could put some more lines in wherever you thought would look cool entirely up to you. Just like that. Doodle doodle doo. Isn't that fun? So fun. Our last animal cartoon. This one's a little bit more challenging, but I think you guys are probably doing well enough that you can try this new challenge. We're going to do a hummingbird, guys, because they're beautiful. So we're going to start with a carrot pointing to the corner, but notice it's in the middle. We need lots of room. Now that's going to be the wing for our little hummingbird, okay? So we're going to come off the top of the hummingbird wing with another carrot pointing into that. And then another, 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 okay? And it's creating this fan. And, and notice how I make them a little bit smaller every time I draw one. Okay, that makes a beautiful wing. Then we need to add in the head. So the head is gonna come off here and go around. It's almost the number nine, really. You just connect it. And then we need to give our hummingbird, they always have nice puffy chests, okay? Just like that. And then with the tail, we're just gonna do a U and then add some feathers onto that tail, okay? Then we can give our hummingbird a very nice little beak. You can give your hummingbird a nice big eye. You can give your hummingbird some fluffy hair. Sometimes they have some pretty cool patterns on them, okay? And then you can add some details in. So I'm just gonna add in some fun little details just for, just to do some new things. Make it look interesting. This is where you get to challenge yourself and see what you can do. Okay. some fluffy little feathers on there. Okay, and again, you just want to erase that spot that intersects with the nose, okay? If you want to draw a nice big flower, like that. 
got a beautiful hummingbird. And what's even more fun is coloring these things in, coming up with what kind of colors they look like, what kind of colors. They're your imagination, so you could do whatever you want. You could have a purple and blue hummingbird. You could have a pink owl. You could have a green bunny. You could have a bright orange snail. You could make your hedgehog the same color as Sonic the Hedgehog. Thank you so much for joining in on the cartoon class today, guys. Um, I hope that you learned how to cartoon a new animal or maybe learn how to cartoon an animal a different way than you already know how to draw. I would really love to see some of these pictures colored in or maybe put together in the same picture. I know some of you guys participate in our storybook brainstorms. Um, maybe you could come up with your very own story for some of these characters and you could share it with us. So I can't wait to see what you do with all this cartooning. Thank you so much. Make sure to share some stuff with me, okay? Have fun.